Okay, so right now I'll be treating this very um, multiplying by t theorem. Now look at this. We have already known that um, Laplace transform of um, f of t is equal to the integral from 0 to infinity of um, f of t exponential minus st dt. We already know this. So what if we have something like this? The question then becomes the Laplace transform of t multiplying f of t. What if we then have something like this, t multiplying f of t? So what will we then have? This will then become the integral from 0 to infinity of t f of t exponential minus st dt. So this is the result that we are going to be having. Now, the thing is this. Can we actually make this expression similar to this other expression? Is it possible to do that in one way or the other? Can we try our best to make this very guy look the same as this? So that I would just say this is what the Laplace transform of something else. Now, please remember, please remember this, that this will be equal to the um, f of what? S. Do you agree with that? This top guy is going to be equal to what? F of what? S. Because that's what Laplace transform is all about. You're changing from T to what? S. So this is it. Okay, let me rule a line here. Let me rule this very line here. Now, this very expression that we have, let us bring it here. The integral from 0 to infinity of f of t exponential minus st dt equal f of what? s. So we know this expression is correct. Now, if this expression is correct, so what we'll then try to do? When we're finding Laplace sum of t f of t, you will see that there's a t in the integral expression. So this very expression, we're trying to bring out t from this expression here. Because right now, there is no t f of t. So can we bring out a t from this? Yes, we can do that. Now think of this properly. This is exponential minus st. There's a way to differentiate and there's a particular um, derivative that we're going to take to give us what t from here. Look at this. If we have exponential minus st and we differentiate with respect to s, do you agree that we're going to have a t coming out? Because that's how we actually differentiate exponentials. So look at this. I'm going to say, I'm going to say, take, I'm going to differentiate this with respect to what s. Because if you differentiate with respect to t, you are going to be getting what s. But if you differentiate with respect to s, you are going to be getting what t. And we need to squeeze out t in this very expression so that we get this our result that we are looking for. So I'm going to differentiate both sides with respect to s. So I have something like this, integral from 0 to infinity of f of t exponential minus st dt close bracket equal d differentiating this with respect to this guy. So this is what I have. Now please take note. If I have the, if I'm going to differentiate this with respect to s, these two expressions can actually interchange each other. That is to say this integral from 0 to infinity can come out, then d over ds goes inside. So this is the integral from 0 to infinity, then I will then be having d over dx. Now look at this properly. I have two expressions here, two expressions here, but I need to what? I need to differentiate with respect to what? S. So this will then become the partial derivative. This will become the partial derivative of what this expression. So I have f of t exponential minus st dt, close bracket, close bracket, equal d over ds of f of s. Okay, so right now, I'll be having the integral from 0 to infinity. Looking at this very internal structure, now please take note, this dt can be outside. I can put it outside because at the end of the day, when I'm going to integrate, I need dt. So I'm going to just be differentiating this internal part. You don't need dt when differentiating. Now, see, if we're going to be integrating, sorry, differentiating this very guy, the first thing I will notice is this. I was asked to actually differentiate what? With respect to s. But this is f of t, meaning I'm going to treat it as a constant. I'm going to treat f of t as a constant. So it means I'm going to be having f of t as a constant, 
then this will then become what will be left here this will become d over ds then i have what exponential minus st then my dt is outside equal d over ds of f of s okay so let us proceed this is getting we're close to our results we're close to our results now see this will be the integral from zero to infinity of f of t now see if you are differentiating this if you are differentiating this expression with respect to x first of all this power here differentiate this power with respect to s what would you be having minus t because if you differentiate minus st with respect to s you're going to have minus t then i'm going to put exponential minus st back into the game then i put my what my dt and this will be equal to d over ds of f of s so that's the expression that i have now look at this look at this can this minus sign come outside yes this minus sign can be out so this is minus integral from zero to infinity of this very t i can just bring it in front of ft so it will look like t f of t so if this t should just come in front of this i'm going to be having t f of t looking very beautiful now then this is exponential minus st exponential minus st then dt equal d over ds of f of x okay so like i said we're close to our result this is very look at it look at this part now integral from zero to infinity t of ft exponential minus st dt is similar to this very very similar to this now can this minus sign come to this other side because if you check this very expression here which i am trying to find this expression does not have a minus sign in front of it so i can just bring it to this other side so this will become the integral from zero to infinity t of ft okay exponential minus st dt equal minus d over ds f of what s so this is what i have now please remember this this whole expression here is the same as this this whole expression is the same as this so what does that tell me i can replace this very expression with the laplace transform of t f of t so this is laplace transform of t f of t then close this bracket equal minus d over ds of f of s so right now this is the result of our expression this would be the answer to this very question so can we use this to solve some examples yes we can use this to solve some examples now look at this what then happens you know what i've just done here is lovely transform when t is multiplying f of t what if we have t to the power of n multiplying it please take note the laplace transform when we have t to the power of n multiplying f of t is not different from this expression now let me tell you where the n comes in please take note there's a one here right we all agree there's always an invisible one at this part so this is minus one to the power of n then dn all over ds to the power of n of f of s so this expression will then become the result when you have what c to the power of n multiplying so with this very video i've been able to solve this in case you are asked to derive this in the exam hall i think this very um, illustration will be best for you to do you can learn more things from me you can learn more things from my youtube channel subscribe for more